This is Brandon Lee with BetFirms.com here with your 2012 Wake Forest football predictions. Head coach Jim Grobe has done a wonderful job at Wake Forest in his 11 seasons here. This is the smallest BCS school in the country and the Deben Deacons have been to only 10 bowl games in their history. Five of those came under Grobe and he guided them to an ACC title for the first time since 1970 back in 2006. He always seems to get the most out of his teams. Wake Forest finished tied for second in the ACC's Atlantic Division last season with a 5-3 conference record. They finished just 6-7 overall after losing to Mississippi State 17-23 in the Music City Bowl. Only 11 starters returned from their 2011 squad, and Grobe will have his work cut out for him in what appears to be a rebuilding year for the Demon Deacons. The offense put up 26 points and 368 total yards per game last season. The Demon Deacons did most of their damage through the air, throwing for 253 yards while rushing for just 115 per game. The offense returns just four starters, so it will be hard to see this unit matching its solid 2011 numbers. The good news is that junior quarterback Tanner Price returns after a brilliant campaign last season. He completed 60% of his passes for 3,017 yards with 20 touchdowns and 6 interceptions. Wake Forest will have a chance with Price under center, but unfortunately he doesn't have great pieces around him. Wake Forest loses its leading rusher in Brandon Pendergrass, but they do bring back junior Josh Harris and sophomore Orville Reynolds. These two figure to share the bulk of the carries in 2012. Also gone is leading receiver Chris Givens, and his production is irreplaceable. The Deacons do bring back junior Michael Campanaro, and he figures to be the go-to guy this season. Also back is senior Terrence Davis, but this receiving corps is young and inexperienced aside from these two. The offensive line is the biggest concern after paving the way for just 3.2 yards per carry last year and allowing a whopping 35 sacks. The Deacons lose four starters up front, including first-team All-ACC left guard Joe Looney. This unit has just 16 career starts returning. While the offense will take a step back this season, the defense could improve on its subpar 2011 numbers. Wake Forest allowed 27.4 points and 398 total yards per game a year ago. They have seven starters back on this side of the ball, but lose their top two tacklers and arguably their two best players on defense. The Deacons gave up 170 rushing yards and 4.6 yards per carry last season while registering a measly 11 sacks. The defensive line must play better, and they have a chance to do just that with two returning starters back for their 3-4 scheme. That includes junior nose guard Nikita Whitlock, who earned second team All-ACC honors last season after dominating in the middle. Also back is junior defensive end Zach Thompson. The linebacker corps loses second team All-ACC Kyle Wilbur, who was taken in the fourth round by the Dallas Cowboys. However, this unit should be improved considering five of their top six linebackers return. That includes senior outside linebacker Joey Airman, senior weak side linebacker Riley Haynes, and senior middle linebacker Scott Beatros. The secondary also loses two of its best players in third team All-American free safety Josh Bush and strong safety Kyle Corals. This unit does bring back an absolute stud in sophomore corner Merrill Bud Noel, who set a school record with 19 pass breakups as a freshman last year. The other returning starter in the secondary is senior corner Kenny Okoro. Now for my ACC prediction. I have Wake Forest picked to finish last in the Atlantic Division. The Deacons simply lose too many of their best players to be able to contend for an Atlantic Division title. They do have quarterback Tanner Price and some solid players on defense returning, but I just don't think they can overcome the losses of Pendergrass, Gibbons, Corals, Wilbers, and Bush. Those were arguably their five best players aside from Price last year. The offensive line is very inexperienced with three underclassmen expected to start. Price could regress this season simply because he won't have time to deliver the football and he loses his top skill players. The Deacons have winnable home games against Duke and Boston College, but I can't see this team coming away with more than two conference wins.